Um, Callie is a 12 year old who developed a rare type of meningitis called Nigleria meningitis. It's caused by an amoeba. You acquire it by swimming in uh, fresh water or hot steam water, uh, most commonly uh, warmer water in the south. Um, it's a relatively, it's a very rare uh, type of meningitis. Um, about 128 cases have been reported. Um, she presented to us about three weeks ago after swimming in a, um, a, a small lake here in Little Rock um, with signs of meningitis. Um, shortly thereafter, um, it was diagnosed by looking at her uh, cerebral spinal fluid and, and finding the amoeba in her cerebral spinal fluid. Um, since this has such a high mortality, 98 to 90 percent, 9 percent mortality, there's only, up to Kaylee's case, there are only two reported survivors. Now there's Kaylee's the third. So there's three reported survivors of, of this type of meningitis. We went from being told that our little girl wouldn't survive this amoeba to now they're saying that Kaylee is going to be the third survivor and going to get to go home. So, I mean, we're going to go through rehab and everything. So, but Kaylee gets stronger and stronger every day. It's just amazing what she can do every day. Um, I'm battling... Um, breast cancer that has metastasized to my bones so we're trying to get some more treatment going for me so I think my next step is going to be like a bone um, biopsy and see what kind of treatment I can get on so I'm still working with my doctors and so it's kind of a battle to decide that you want to put your health on hold because you want to totally focus on Kaylee but I know I have to try to get myself better too because I'm, Kaylee's coming home and I'm going to get to take care of her so I want to be well too. In the course of our investigation into this case we found that the patient had been swimming at a particular water park here in central Arkansas that happens to be the same uh, water park that had been associated with the illness back in 2010. When it was determined that this case actually was Nigleria and that there was a, uh, a connection between the water park in, in this case and the case before, it, we felt that it was just too coincidental. It was something that we had to take action on that we couldn't allow to, to go uh, un, unacted upon. So uh, when the owner found out that it was in fact Nigleria, then they voluntarily agreed that the best idea was to close the park and not operate it as it had been ever again.